you can tell by the cast shadow over here, the cast shadow that the collar is casting, very unflattering. I mean, you know, creating weird shadows with the eyebrows, side plane of the nose is really in shadow. So now it, it totally, you know, goes back to this, you know, thing that we just talked about with that this light is coming from below. Okay, and you know that is unnatural because the sun and the moon come from up above. So that's creating a certain mood to it. Now this uh, light on this particular painting, let's just look at her face. Uh, let's see if I can kind of put it like that. That is more of form light. So if you look at the light, it's happening where the front of her face turns to the side of her, uh, the side plane of her head. So it's the front plane meets the side plane the light meets the shadow, okay? And so it's not, uh, yeah, you can also tell by the cast shadow on the neck that it's that it's form light. Now, it's not optimal form light. I could have moved the light like a little bit closer um, to the right and then have more shadow on her face, but uh, it's not true form light because there's not any major shadow underneath her nose, okay? So that's another example of a uh, different type of light source. Here's an example of front light, okay? Now, this is hard to paint this way, totally hard to paint, because there's no cast shadows, and this is really turning under slowly. So when you do a painting like this or a drawing like this where it's there's front light, you have to be like a master at you know measuring what's right below that eye, what's right across from that eye. Look at the distance from the nose to the cheekbone. All right, let me give you a couple other examples. And actually, this painting has front light and rim light on it. So look at the rim light on her hair and on her shoulder. And so that is just something that is a really neat thing to do. Now, I'm not doing this like comic book thing where this rim light is green and the front light is orange to create like this funny fantasy effect, but you know, that just wasn't my uh, style to do work that way. If we look at this little painting now, let's look at this girl. So this girl has a beautiful rim light hitting the top of her head coming in from that window and coming in from that window. But the rest of her body is kind of, um, front lit okay and she is front lit as well so you still see like a little bit of that rim light now that rim light was a little bit cooler we've got some cool coming from that background room and, and hidden her dress over here so that's combining two light sources and then the last two paintings here that I want to show you this painting again you know we've got our sun set in here in the background and it's kind of hidden him and it's creating a rim light and that rim light is warm all right so i've got some warm yellows in that rim light and then on this side of his face uh, which is the shadow side which i probably just put a fill light in there uh, that has some cool paint in it so our last one would just be simple top light okay so the light is cascading from this so-called flannel board on this chalkboard and it's creating a rim light you know it creates different of different effects but you know it's coming from up above and it's totally creating a rim light on his body from his head all the way to his toe so that's how i would practically utilize all the different light sources that i just showed you and i'm taking that light front, form, side, back, rim, or below light, and I'm putting it on form, okay? So let's move on to the next chapter.